Was the Last Supper a Passover meal or not? It's time to unlearn the lies. Hey, welcome to Unlearn. My name is Lex, and I'd like to invite you to join us each week as we search out biblical truth together and unlearn the lies we have inherited. Now let's get started. There is some controversy about if Yeshua's Last Supper was a Passover meal or not. This is due to the question about the timeline presented in the Gospels. Some people think there's a conflict between the Synoptic Gospels and the Gospel of John, because the Synoptics say that Yeshua ate Passover at the Last Supper, while John says that Yeshua died on the preparation day for the Passover. I want to say up front that no matter which side of this discussion you find yourself on, the important thing is that you keep the Passover. Don't let disagreement cause strife. We can disagree and still have fellowship. I know this because I have discussed this topic with friends who disagreed with me in the past, and we did not allow it to ruin our fellowship. When we find ourselves in a disagreement with a brother, we must see it as an opportunity to dig deeper into the scriptures and let iron sharpen iron. We are all trying to figure out these things, and we are constantly learning and unlearning. I've actually been on both sides of this discussion, so I understand the frustration this topic can cause. A few years ago, I even made a video arguing that the Last Supper was not Passover. In fact, here's a little clip from that video. But today, I actually wanted to talk about, I've actually changed my perspective on the Last Supper. Um, I've been doing a lot of study and a lot of research on it, and I've come to some new conclusions, and I really don't think it was a Seder meal anymore. And um, I'm basically want to talk to talk to you today about why I don't think it was a Seder meal anymore. There's a saying that says, an honest but mistaken man, once shown the truth, either ceases to be honest or ceases to be mistaken. My desire is to be an honest man who is willing to correct my mistakes. That's why I chose the name Unlearn for this ministry. We must always be humble enough to admit when we make mistakes and willing to repent and make the appropriate changes. When we are presented with new information, we need to be willing to reevaluate what we believe about that topic. I have recently been presented with new information that has changed my understanding about the Last Supper. I am now convinced that the Last Supper was in fact a Passover meal, and in this video I am going to explain why. The argument really boils down to a question about when the Passover meal is supposed to be eaten. Some say it is to be eaten at the evening beginning the 14th, while others say it is to be eaten at the evening beginning the 15th. I previously believed that Passover was to be killed at the end of the 14th and eaten on the 15th. However, after a closer examination of the scriptures, I am convinced that the Passover must be eaten at the evening beginning the 14th because Yahweh passed over their houses during the night of the 14th. That's why the 14th day is called the Passover. And in the first new moon, on the 14th day is the Pesach of Yahweh. And on the 15th day of this moon is a festival. For seven days unleavened bread is to be eaten. So we see from this verse that the 14th day is the Passover, and the 15th day begins the Feast of Unleavened Bread. There is a distinction made between these two days. Passover is not the first day of unleavened bread. Passover takes place the day before the feast begins. The synoptics tell us that Yeshua and His disciples ate the Passover the night beginning the 14th day. And on the first prote day of unleavened bread, the taught ones came to Yeshua, saying to Him, Where do you wish us to prepare for you to eat the Pesach? And He said to them, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I am to perform the Pesach at your house with my taught ones. And the taught ones did as Yeshua had ordered them and prepared the Pesach. Now we just discussed that Passover is on the 14th and the Feast of Unleavened Bread begins the 15th. So why does Matthew say that on the first day of unleavened bread, they asked where to kill the Passover. The word translated as first is the Greek word prote, which means before, best, or what comes first. So it could be translated before the day of unleavened bread, which makes more sense because if it was already the feast of unleavened bread, they would have been a day late. We know the meal Yeshua ate with his disciples took place on the evening beginning the 14th because Yeshua died the evening beginning the 15th, according to John's Gospel. John tells us it was the preparation day for the High Sabbath, which is the 15th. 
Therefore, since it was the preparation day, that the bodies should not remain on the stake on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high one. The Jews asked Pilate to have their legs broken, and that they be taken away. This was not the preparation day for the weekly Sabbath. It was the preparation day for the high Sabbath, beginning the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Now, back to Matthew 26. These verses really cause problems for those who say the Passover is eaten on the 15th because they say that Yeshua died before the Passover was to be eaten. But all three synoptic gospels say that Yeshua ate the Passover before he was killed. Notice that Yeshua made an emphatic statement that he was going to eat the Passover at that place with his disciples. And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I am to perform the Pesach at your house with my taught ones. And the taught ones did as Yeshua had ordered them, and prepared the Pesach. If you say that this was not a Passover meal, then you are disagreeing with the words of Yeshua. Not only that, but the Bible also says that the disciples prepared the Passover, indicating that they prepared the Lamb. All three Synoptic Gospels are in agreement on these points, but Luke includes something that the others do not say. And going, they found it as he had said to them, and they prepared the Pesach. And when the hour had come, he sat down and the twelve emissaries with him. And he said to them, With desire I have desired to eat this Pesach with you before my suffering. For I say to you, I shall certainly not eat of it again until it is fulfilled in the reign of Elohim. Yeshua again calls this meal the Passover, and he says that he has been looking forward to eating it with them before he suffers. He had eaten the Passover every year of his life, but this Passover was special because this was his Passover. He knew that this was the Passover when he would establish the new covenant in his blood. And as they were eating, Yeshua took bread and having blessed, broke it and gave it to the taught ones and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And taking the cup and giving thanks, he gave it to all of them saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood, that of the renewed covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Passover is a covenant meal, and Yeshua ate the Passover with His disciples, explaining that it is the new covenant in His blood. This connects with the covenant that Yahweh made with Israel before they left Egypt, when He covered them with the blood and protected them from the destroyer. And Yahweh shall pass on to smite the Mitzrites, and shall see the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts. And Yahweh shall pass over the door, and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to smite you. So we see that the fourteenth day is the Passover, beginning at sunset, because Yahweh passed over them that night. And the fifteenth day is the High Sabbath. Yeshua ate the Passover covenant meal with His disciples on the night beginning the fourteenth. Then He died at the end of the fourteenth, finalizing the salvation and sealing the new covenant in His blood. Now it's your turn. If you found this video helpful, then share it with your friends and family so they can unlearn the lies with us. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And remember, the truth will set you free. See you next time.